ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simulation for the Nation, and today we are going to be looking into just how you can download mods for Farming Simulator 22 on PC and all console platforms. We're going to get stuck into it. First of all, we're going to have a look at the Mod Hub. Farming Simulator 22 just came out today, officially launched on November the 22nd. Now, what that means is there are a few day one mods coming out as well. Mods that we're very, very familiar with, it must be said. Mods that have come through from FS19. But it means that we get to have a look into this and show you what it looks like. So first thing you can do, if you are not familiar with this, you're going to head on over to farmingsimulator.com. Once you're here, you want to click on the mods tab in the top corner. This will give you all of the currently available mods for uh, PC and console. Now, when there's a few more mods to choose from, you can choose by category and narrow them all down. There's even a little section there for crossplay. So if you click on here, this will show you all the mods that are available for both categories of console and pc so if you are sent up a console or crossplay server you don't have to look too far to be able to find the mods that you know are going to be compatible like that a lot thumbs up so we're going to find a, a mod that we want now one mod that is particularly useful that i've always enjoyed is player action cam by wopster this is really good if you're on pc it allows you to get some really nice thumbnails so we're going to download this you click on the mod you want there it shows you it's available you're going to click the download and then what you'll see is that this is going to start to automatically download and a file will pop up when it's ready to go now to look at that file and exactly what we have we're going to move to a different window here so we can see what we've got coming up all right so you've downloaded the mod from the mod up there you it's completed you know there's a little pop-up there that says the window has opened up so where are you going to find that mod well you're going to go into your download section on your pc now that is found in a couple of different places you can either find it by just coming into your um into your folders and then you're going to find it under your quick access here. It's going to be downloads or it will be under the username of your file uh, of your computer. So your, uh, let's say if you're called Jeff, it'll be under Jeff um, users downloads that way as well. But we have it here. This is the modern question we've just downloaded. This is the farming FS22 underscore player action cam. That's the one we're going to want to move. We need to move that over into our mod folder so we can keep that. You'll notice that it is zipped up. We don't need to unzip it. The only time you want to unzip a mod is if you're going to be uh tweaking the value with it or modding it or doing something to it that way uh, mods from other websites may well uh be zipped twice if you don't see it in your mod window when you're in game it might be because we need to extract that original folder but for right now because this is coming from the mod hub we know we don't need to do that what we are going to do though is just click uh right click on the mod and we're going to hit cut then we want to go and put this into the farming simulator folder you can find that by going to, into your documents into my games and into farming simulator 22 and inside here there will be a folder specifically for mods uh, if you've just downloaded the game and you don't see this the first thing you need to do is start up the game load it up and then exit out that will give you the file that you need but we have that here we're going to click on mods and then simply just going to paste that into there and when we load up the game we're going to see that mod in there in just a second uh, so that is how you can download any mods from the mod hub let's have a look at what that looks like in game shall we so you've made it into game what we need to do now is look to see what content we can download uh, it's under downloadable content like it will be on your consoles but when you jump on into here uh, all you need to do is really find the machine that you want to download now you, uh, you have all of the categories here you also have mods that you previously downloaded and installed for example the dlc for the pre-order uh, you've got any updated mods here as well if you uh, if you see any updates on the mod hub then you can come onto here and just update everything as you need to you got the downloads so current download in there uh, and any dlcs that are available uh, and then extra content as well there's nothing new here yet at the moment so i'm going to be curious to see what that looks like as we keep an eye on it uh, then you got it always breaks it down to um, most recent mods the best mods the most downloaded mods uh, and obviously there's only a handful of mods out there now anyway so it's pretty much going to be all the same uh, however let's go back into categories here we're going to go to medium tractors and we're going to download this case so we click on there you have install in the bottom corner uh you can click ok and it's going to install the, the mod into your game then as you can keep an eye on how that download is going under the download section here and that will keep you abreast of everything that's happening as you can see it's rattling through there nice and quickly love to see it so once that's downloaded it's going to be saved automatically in game you don't need to uh you don't need to change anything or move that file anywhere that is going to be it it will often ask you to restart your game once you have uh downloaded it uh but once we're good to go there it is all installed and we're ready to go so now we're going to exit out we're going to go back again uh, as you can see please restart the game we'll restart very quickly there and once that's restarted we're going to go into start a new game we need to make sure that we enable those mods in question now that's the last thing we need to take care of so in just a second there when this all restarts itself 
we'll jump on in all right so we are ready to go let's go and find a game save to jump into we're going to use this one here and you'll see there are the two mods that we've downloaded the one that we did from the internet uh off the mod hub and the one that we did in game we just need to check them both check mark check mark and then we can start the game and they will appear now if you download a mod and it is not here there's a couple of things to look for first of all if it's a converted mod from fs19 or previous versions it might not have the right mod description or setup if that is the case, that it will not appear in game. That will have to require some corrections to the code for it to appear through. Uh, if it has appeared, if you download it from the mod hub, uh, from the website, and it has not appeared, then you need to look into the mod. Make sure, first of all, you've copied it across into the, the game save, uh, into the Farming Simulator 19 folder. Make sure you've copied that across there, and uh, it is all in place. And also make sure that it, if it's from a different website, not the mod hub there, you might need to extract it as well. Uh, if you follow all those steps though you should find that it appears into here nice and quickly and easily and you're ready to go uh, keep an eye on the mod hub though it's gonna be a lot more mods coming very shortly as we really start to develop uh, and our mothers get used to fs22 and we'll keep updated with those as and when we see them and all the good ones coming through for now this is just your preliminary guide on how to download mods that you'll need i hope you have enjoyed i have been simulation for the nation if you do enjoy these tips and tricks uh, then don't forget to leave a like subscribe to simulation for the nation and we'll see you all in the next one